Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and I want to uh, show a uh, reply here to my uh, st uh, stacking secret technique, the, the way of learning cloud 10 times faster. And so the uh, reply here is, I agree with the reasoning, but what do you say about interviewers? What do you say about interviewers who test knowledge on writing code, such as Ansible, Terraform, where I understand the concept, maybe are able to interpret the code, uh, but I'm not able to write from scratch? Well, you're not going to like the answer, but you need to be able to actually do it from scratch. Um, that The reason why that seems like an unreasonable answer is because if you are trying to apply for a role uh, or try to get your first cloud engineering role or DevOps role or whatever, you might be applying to 20, 40, 50 places. And for a lot of folks, they might only hear back from one, two, three, or none. And when they do hear back, this company goes, great, uh, can you sh demonstrate that you can use PowerShell or Bash or Terraform or Chef or whatever, right? Uh, whatever is in their stack of technology. This is not a new problem. Um, before cloud, I was a web application developer for many years. And you know the ecosystem there is very wide. We have frameworks, right? We have uh, Rails, we have Larvarel, we have whatever. Within each language, there's a series of frameworks. With it, with, within a single uh, web application, there is preferred um, uh, technologies, like for authentication, for, for your database. There is uh, complexity in terms of uh, how do you want to tackle scaling or optimization, where there is no right answer, but there's definitely different ways. There is things that need to be idematic, so written in a way, not necessarily complexity, but written in a way that everybody agrees is the correct way, right? So, you know, when I did the boot camp, I didn't research what was idematic in, in, in Django, but I did write something that, uh, you know, logically makes sense and, and would work, but somebody that might work with Django every day says, well, you know, best practice is to do this. and. Uh, you know, their concern is, is that it's not that you can't write the code, it's just that you're going to make a mess in their code base, right? Or you're going to try to make the thing work like something else that it's not, right? Um, but, uh, you know, this is not, again, this is not a new problem. But, uh, you know, when we talk about Ansible and Terraform, we're talking about uh, DevOpsy tools, right? DevOpsy tools. And, you know, I feel that uh, it's not as uh, the pool of, of, of technology is not as diverse as web apps. I think it's easier because there's fewer of them, um, you know? And I really do think that you need to go and learn some of these things uh, in a level of detail that you can do from scratch. Do you have to remember how to do it all the time? No, but you need to take on, take on very, very good notes um, and you need to be able to uh, reload your mind when it comes time. And that's the thing that I do all the time is that I'm making notes. All my videos that you watch, all of them that are instructional, they're for me, right? I know you use them, but they're for me so that when I need to, for whatever reason, I need to go and relearn something, I can dig into that external memory and dump it in really quickly, get a bit of practice before I, before I talk to somebody, and I'm back up to skill very quickly. It's not so important for you to remember things long term. It's more important that you're able to reload things uh, in your head. You know, that, that goes the same for algorithms, writing for loops, working in Rust, whatever. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, when you are doing your uh, job search, you should try to narrow as much of what you're looking for so that you don't have to cast such a wide net and you get caught in a loop because some people are doing hard tests uh, to ensure that you have that top of mind stuff. So there really no, is no way around it. Um, I think this is kind of a spin-off conversation about how people take a wrong approach to trying to get the job or trying to get even an offer back for a job is that, you know, if you are applying for 20, 40, 50 places, you're not hearing anything back or getting one or two. A lot of people complain, they go, well, the market's oversaturated and uh, you know, it's just there's the, the demands are too high and that's not true. The issue is that your approach to applying for the role to highlight your skills uh, to uh, that kind of stuff is the issue. 
Um, I always say that if, if it takes you 20 people or 20 applications to get a callback, you're doing it wrong. You're doing something wrong there. And that's something for another video. I don't know if I'd make that one public. I think that might be a private one for my private videos. But yeah, you do have to learn this stuff. You have to learn it to a level of complexity. It has to be automatic. You have to understand um, uh, uh, this kind of stuff. And that's just, that's just that. But again, this comes down to tooling, right? Languages and tools. When we talk about, you know, uh, you know, virtual machines and, and servers and content delivery, that's a different story, right? Uh, because that is just configuration of, of those tools and understanding how they can work together. Uh, this is actually you actually doing the work and you have to be able to do the work. Sorry, but that's the answer.